Hello, my name's Tom and today I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step guide on how to apply for financial support at Waltham Forest College. The first thing you'll need to do is visit waltham.ac.uk. You can then highlight over the Students tab and select Financial Support from the drop-down list. Once on the Financial Support page, select this option to go through to the Financial Support portal. When you access the portal, you will be presented with these three different options. If you are an existing student at Waltham Forest College, you can log in using your Microsoft account. If you are a new student, you'll first need to register by putting in your student ID number, date of birth and creating a password. Once you have registered, you'll receive an email with an activation link. Click this link to activate your online portal. Once your portal has been activated, log in using the details you provided when registering. Now that you are on the student portal homepage, you can select the blue button to proceed with your application form. Make sure that you read all of the information at the top of this page and ensure the details are accurate. If you are over 20 years old and have children, you may be eligible for childcare support. Fill in the forename, last name and date of birth of each of your dependents and then click Next. On the Eligibility Questions screen, answer each question in turn accurately. Then, at the bottom of the page, select the Next button. Depending on the answers you gave in the previous section, you may now be asked to provide evidence of eligibility. Just click each button in turn to upload your evidence. You could do this using a smartphone or on your desktop PC. Once all of the evidence has been uploaded, go ahead and select the Next button. On this section, you will be asked to enter your bank details. Don't worry if you don't yet have a bank account. You can revisit this section at a later date to fill in your details. On the Application Summary page, it's important that you look through all of the answers that you've given and all of the details that you've provided. Ensure they are accurate and then select the I agree to the declaration as stated above and sign your name. Once signed, select Submit Application. On this screen, you'll want to select the Home button in the top left of the page. On the Home portal, depending on the answers you have given in the previous sections, you may be asked to fill in some extra information forms. Click the View button on each, click to start, and then answer any questions and submit any evidence that is required. You can then sign and finish each section. On the home screen, you can click the blue button to make edits to your application form, or you can click the gray button to fill in your bank details. If you scroll to the bottom of the page, you will see a box that provides details on any recent payments you have received. Thank you for submitting your application. If you need any further assistance when using the portal, you can visit the student finance team in room 224.